This is probably one of the coolest bundles in the game right now. And today we're going to play some Warzone, uh, Ashika Island. And we're also going to play some third person for you guys. And just see if we can pull out with the win and some good gameplay in multiplayer. Hope you guys do enjoy this video. Drop a like if you guys want this bundle. I want you guys to interact with me. Comment down below what your top three Call of Duty games are. It, top three in order. From there, I'll pick a few people to receive this bundle. Because this bundle is actually pretty nasty. I like it. Hope you guys do enjoy this video. Drop a like and let's get straight into the video. I did, right? Vanya, Vanya, hostiles deploy the counter UAV. Loadout is... Wait, loadout is AK. Right here. Yeah. Loady, boom. Oh! Take that as well. Alright, we'll pop it up here. Pretty good start so far. Pretty good start. Okay, 2800. Hopefully, it doesn't fall down. Need more frames, bro. I would love to have more frames. I'm not gonna lie. Nice try, buddy. Nice try. UAV is being fueled. RTV at this time. Planting customer. Gas is moving. Hostile UAV overhead. Hostile counter UAV overhead. I need shotgun cells. There's gotta be more people here. I don't I don't trust any of that. I don't really know where to go though, that's the thing. Alright, we'll we'll drive around and see what the vibes are. Got back out Lodi right here. Back up Lodi, I'm sorry. Try to get some kills here. Hopefully. I don't know. I don't know. I mean I'm gonna drive through one more time just to see if anybody landed back in here, but I would have had a notification, right? What if I had a notification? I don't wanna push that, they have a mine right there. Go around one more time. We have eight. Somebody should be around this, hopefully for this Lodi. And yes, he is. Oh, 
I'm acting like I'm gonna see more of the view. I'm over here looking over to see if I get a better view, but that's not how uh that's not how it works, K3. Mm -mm. What? Bro, if this lag persists one more time. This lag is just too much for me to handle, bro. Not gonna lie, it's terrible. Too fast. Way too fast. He's recon overhead. Copy. UAV orbiting the AO. Recon is online. their network. It's over. With classes that I typically Price would not active. use. I mean, actually. Have been UAV is being a fuel. RTB at this time. Whoa. That was a little too close. We have two UAVs. Can't get a munition box? He's recon overhead. Hostel UAV in this sector. Resurgence is about to end. Make a count. Munition box? There's none. LMG rounds here. He's texting. I need shotgun. Sir. Advice, UAV is exiting the AO. Worth it. I can't even go there. They're in the... Hostile UAV overhead. overhead. Copy. UAV orbiting the AO. Recon is online. Fire sales over. Adjusting prices. Traction, maybe? Into the area. Watch the skies. I have 22. The push? I don't know. Resurgence has been deactivated. This is the end game. 
Supply crates are restocked. Advise you load up now. I need shotgun cells. What a game, huh? I have no oh I do have a gas mask. Probably hit that, right? I don't know what I would hit from that though. Oh my god, what wait! How did he get down there? Wait, 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 wait. He oh he I guess he We tried it. We freaking tried it, boys. I want to go to third person. Let's play third person multiplayer. How many kills did I, I drop dirt? Ah. For those who want the class setup that I was using for the hemlock, obviously it, it obscures and alters the look of the actual weapon, but uh, I kept the optic. Using the Fielder T50 barrel as this is the best barrel for this hemlock. Um, re tuning it to have more recoil stance and damage range. Harbinger D20 muzzle for more recoil smoothness and bullet velocity. Uh, the phase three grip for more recoil stabilization and aiming idle stability in the 45 round magazine. And um, I just used this and uh, I don't even think I, okay, I did tune it a little bit. Um, but um, that is actually pretty cool. I like it. I don't really use shotguns, but it was pretty cool. I didn't even use it when it was broken. I'm actually going to go hop into some third person gameplay and uh, I just, just want to talk to you guys. Let's go. If only they spent the amount of time they, you know, worked on operators like this one, weapon variants, cool weapon variants and tracer packs on actually adding more multiplayer maps in the game. Hey, the game would be pretty cool. Like, bro, like the amount of content we had in the original Modern Warfare, like, you know, with the seasons and stuff like that, they added a bunch of maps. And like, I feel like with this game right here, they're just kind of slacking. I, I don't know. If I can add things from previous Call of Duty games, make one good Call of Duty game, what would it be? How would it look like? It's a very interesting question. It involves a, oh my God, like, look at this. I think they need to just spend more time working on the actual game than just like adding, you know, operators. And I, you know, they have to actually, they actually have to do both. They have to do both. I just want, a addictive experience and i feel like i just don't necessarily get that with this game i don't think there's i think this game is cool i think this game is okay i think it's fun but i feel like it could be a lot better and we all know that oh my god what the heck is going on homie counter uav pop it Oh, wow. What? Oh, honestly, actually, I can't even answer that question because the time that I was playing Modern Warfare 2 2009 and the time that I was playing World at War back in 2008, I believe, or 2010, I was experiencing different things in my life where, like, I just didn't have a lot of responsibilities. Uh, competitive, competitive Call of Duty was just, like, you know, clanning up, having the same clan tag uh, and just kind of competing against other clans that you find in public matches. Like for me, 6v6 competitive S&D in pubs or just setting up clan battles and private matches was everything. That was like the thing that we did or I did just to keep everything competitive for me. Like, I don't know, man. Okay, really? That's, I feel like now I'm just gonna completely die. My top three Call of Duty games. <laughs> it's very cliche. It's a very, like, it's an answer that a lot of people will say if you guys played all those Call of Duty games. Um, it's got, it has to be Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, the original one. It's gotta be Modern Warfare 2, right? I'm talking about the 2000, oh my. I'm talking about the 2009 version and it has to be World at War. Those are classic, like the oldest multiplayer Call of Duty games of all time. But hey, those were my favorite ones. I think judging the best Call of Duty has to do a lot with what was going on in your life at that time. Whether you were in elementary school, middle school, I think that has a big role on how the Call of Duty game just, or how your experiences were like. And um, I don't know, like it's definitely different playing this game. You know, I feel like if I was like 12, 13 years old playing this game, I would have a lot of fun. I don't know. I don't know. We don't, I don't know. Here we go, baby. I think this is one of the coldest operators or bundles in the game right now. Given the tracer pack and everything, it just looks really cool. That has a tracer pack too, huh? 
There you go, baby. Third person is just, you know, buying bundles. It's only worth it if you play third person, to be honest. Because, like, these operators, you don't even see them. You just don't even see them, bro. Woo! Let's go, baby. And third person is a bunch of fun. It is a bunch of fun. It reminds me of, like, I played The Last of Us multiplayer, and that was actually really fun. Okay! I don't know. I, I, I don't recall, but... Imagine if they actually brought Verdansk back. I mean, just imagine. Imagine if they actually brought that map back and what that would do. How hyped the community would be. I feel like that would just be so cracked. Oh my god, how am I still alive? How am I still alive here? I have no idea. No, 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 no. How did I die? Verdansk, imagine. The whole map. Updated like POIs or anything. I don't know. Just for dance coming back as like the replacement of Al Masra. Not saying Al Masra is trash. I, I personally like it. It's not as bad. It does get kind of repetitive, but just imagine if they brought it back. Imagine the community. Imagine like they would probably have more players than ever. Even when Verdansk was like at its prime, you know? I'm probably gonna die here. I'm definitely dead here. I mean, they're. I don't know. Yeah, he's right there. 